good morning to each one of you i welcome you all again thank you for joining us from all the corners of the world from team sharan we wish all the mothers here a very very happy mothers day i am gauri agarwal your host for today and palak jain and rashna kanani are helping me co-hosting this event so are you excited for this month's eco champ session i can see so many members joining in you know as fast as that as they can and i'm also very super excited actually last month we touched upon a topic on do it yourself household based products right and household cleaning products and she guided us our eco kaki with how we can make them at home with the products easily available around us and today any guesses what are we going to make we'll be making personal care products when we can't eat the chemicals why should we apply them on our skin or our hair right that is why our eco kaki is here to help us with all the natural and easily made at home products so before we start off our session today let's have a presentation from anjali she is a mother of 6 year old boy and presently a homemaker she makes presentations and volunteers for sharan she has extended her interest in natural homemade personal and home care products so i would like to call anjali to share more with us on the chemicals in personal care products over to you anjali hi hello everyone uh today's session uh, i i just love ikokaki series because she has taken the initiative of you know helping us understand not only how important it is to take care of ourselves but also the environment today as we are touching upon the personal care i would like to share the presentation and from that i will try to take you why we should go for uh, you know homemade personal care products uh, i'm just sharing my screen just a moment i think my laptop sometimes hangs a lot um, so uh, let's begin what is the first thing we put in our mouth what is the first thing we put in our mouth yes is toothpaste yeah so what is toothpaste so it has an active ingredient called uh, sodium chloride okay and uh, sodium chloride with that you know what is the warning given that you keep out of reach and uh, of children under 6 years age why because children have tend to uh, you know under that age tend to like to swallow things and taste things and if you know if i brushing accidentally swallowed you know you need to get to medical help or poison control center now you are first thing in the morning you are getting up to brush your teeth to clean your teeth that's what the advertised says shiny white teeth and what is this you have a warning with that that you know it it has some poison why there is a call uh, uh, active in the end you can see below uh, it is called aqua water hydrated sil uh, hydrated silica sorbitol glycerin xanthan gum titanium dioxide aroma sodium saccharin sodium methyl what you know there are so many chemicals inside i think there is some issue with ha ah, sorry so apart from that sodium you have uh, you have you have so many 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 chemicals inside of toothpaste so this is what we start with coming to shampoos or soap like dove we considered as a mild soap johnson baby shampoo baby shampoo the mild shampoo yet they have certain ingredients which are harmful for body uh, like this for an example here i'll mark it arrow that is sodium laurel isonate which is also present in uh, johnson baby shampoo as sodium trisnet sulfate which is a cleansing agent and if you see the toxic in that chemical especially sodium laurel sulfate it is contaminated carcogen 1 and 4 dioxin 
carcogenic means you know it can cause cancer though we are using in a very small amount yet this thing are uh, you know we don't when anybody has cancer or something we don't consider that this usage might be one of the uh, you know, uh, this is all chemicals and right from the beginning as an infant child you are starting to use all these chemicals on your baby's too now this is a normal brand lipstick and this lipstick has uh, you know certain labels can you read this label can you read this label uh this label i can't read it. and what chemicals are there in it i don't know so uh, you can uh, you know uh, i don't know when we buy lipstick it is of this size and what is written we don't know and what is common among this uh, lipstick the egyptian lady and this elizabeth queen they all contain one component which is lead so from right from history when egyptian ladies were using they used to use lead for coloring their eyes or you know uh, uh, you know making making their lipstick even queen elizabeth who had lot of blemishes on her skin to cover she used to use this white lead uh, which is also known the cause of her death and that same till date in the history of mankind we are using as one of the component in the lipstick now what is this color uh, you know we have a lipstick brushes and loose everything in red color so what is this red caramel color which is called e e120 or e124 on the label it is known as natural caramel cochineal powder okay so this is a natural caramel caramel means red color and it is cochineal powder cochineal means this bug this bug is in the in the available in the trees in abundance and uh, do you know we specially kill the pregnant bugs to get this red color and you kill 90000 bugs to get 1 kg of powder it is used not only as a lipstick or something it is used as for hair for eye for skin care rouges and blushes also as a food colorant and additive so i don't know when i now i know i like you know if i put a lipstick i feel that oh shit this bug thing is on my face so i just don't like to use any of those makeup products now see skin is the largest organ of our body and it takes just 26 26 seconds to absorb anything we apply so from creams to sunscreen to anything it just absorb and it goes right into a blood stream now what are we applying chemicals and it is going indirectly in our blood stream so what are we feeding our skin we are feeding toothpaste face wash body soap shampoo conditioner nail paint sunscreen makeup body oil perfume deodorants hair hand wash hair dry so many things are there that we are feeding our skin through various modes so that's why it is important that in our personal care products we try to use as natural as nat products to keep ourselves safe and our environment safe also our children safe so you see in sunscreen also you have so many toxic products which is you know affecting not only human but our health it even in a hair dry you uh, hair dye you have so many toxicity see it is also there is something called tulin which is linked to birth defects and pregnancy loss even like deodorant has some paraben causing cancer you have fragrances which have allergens not only causes allergens it has philatelics which is again linked to reproductive and developmental of human beings even the jewelry has certain plastic lead which is also harmful for our our ourselves our body you have dental floss which has plastic it has flavors again this flavors have label now see the people who are manufacturing they don't disclose all the ingredients on the on the label and there is nothing to stop them like you know you show this you have to compulsory show this chemicals or no now for an example it can con consist of more than 2500 substances just the dental floss so you imagine the kind of chemical pelotra is around us so how this chemicals are impacting ourselves and ecosystem see we are feeding our body through contact through ingestion through inhalation okay 
and that is you know like in uh, countries certain countries certain poison substances like lead chromium nickel mercury arsenic steroids are you know banned but they are still present in many many cosmetic products manufacturers importers marketers conceal the real ingredients of cosmetics by not listing them on the product label cancer renal disorders thinning discoloration of skin rashes diabetes thyroid hypertension are some of the toxicological or health hazards you know associated with this product uses so you know there are these countries now see nationwide ban on all cosmetic on animal testing so this animal are being tested for this uh, you know how safe are this for your skin it should not provide you rashes or you know ph level should be neutral for your human skin so you know animals are tested so certain countries like india and all are you know there is a ban but see major of the world countries there is no ban on animal testing products even the plastics which is in your bottles of shampoo your dental floss your toothpaste this wet goes into the environment and what is happening today in the oceans are filled with plastic and now this minute plastic is coming in the form of salt in our body so you can see this is a survey conducted by iit bombay which says that indians are consuming 117 mg of plastic annually through salt that see uh, the normal sea salt which we get in the market so that's why it's important that we use as much as natural care products not only we are saving the environment by non usage of plastic but also our skin and our health so i am now going to give over to eco kaki that how she is presenting and showing us the most easy and natural way of using personal care products over to you gauri Thank you, Anjali, for awakening us and sharing such valuable information with all of us. So let us quickly start our session with Eko Kaki, aka Dr. Suman Govil, who is a PhD in botany. She retired as senior advisor from Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. She is very, very passionate about environment and has supported many R and D projects. She also has been fingers and also has co-authored a book on innovative environmental biotechnologies from research to application. for past several years she has not been using any chemicals and prepares her own household cleaning agents and personal care items so let us learn from her how we can also be chemical free and more close to nature and improve our health also over to you eco kaki hello yes you are audible uh, good morning and good afternoon or good evening to all of you because you are joining from different zones of the world it is a pleasure to have uh, you join for this uh, session and uh, thank you anjali for such a uh, you know breathtaking uh, view because i know when you put lipstick on your mouth you really worry about whether it is cochineal powder in it and so many bugs have been killed i am lucky my daughter in law presented me quality free lipstick so i only use that and of course we will also be doing some household lipsticks in the next session uh in fact it's a pleasure uh, to have uh, all of you you know join for this session because that shows uh, that all of you are interested in not only your own health but also in the health of uh, mother earth and our planet uh in fact i would like to start with a whatsapp message which reena the bombay head had forwarded to me day before which said you know that water has been listed as a product on american uh, stock exchange as a rare commodity which would mean you know that uh, water will be available to those who are uh, rich and may not be available to others so otherwise you know normally we think that uh, these are blessings and gifts of mother earth and water air are available to everybody but we all know that people you know uh, walk for miles uh, to go for water 
and uh, you know uh, do we ever think uh, when we buy clothes for example you know i read a facebook message recently which said that if you buy one t-shirt at least 27 uh, kilo i mean kiloliters of uh, water are used for making that t-shirt and you may not even use or may use it once or twice and discard so i am just uh, sharing this because you know it really hurt me and uh, i became very conscious uh, and try to be as minimalistic as possible so we should only buy what is essential and what is you know really needed and what we are going to use and not accumulate even if we have bought certain things which we are not using we should try to share with others and uh, anjali has very nicely explained to us you know so many personal care products which we are using so would some of you uh, like to share in the chat box what personal care products you are using on a day to day basis you can share in the chat box please what personal care products you are using for example you know toothpaste deodorant okay lip balm sunscreen nail polish shampoo so okay sunscreen moisturizer hair oil so have you ever uh, read the labels of these uh, products which you are using so how do you decide uh, which product you are going to use and you know uh, whether they are uh, actually having those products which they are claiming like you know the anjali was saying that manufacturers or marketers often conceal the correct information they may not divulge the correct information so how do we really you know find out whether what they are saying they are following there are certain apps there is one app zoobop uh, which in which sharan has also partnered and you can you know bop any product which you want to buy any brand globally and then it will give you the ranking you know it will tell you whether it is a organic product whether it is a Uh, cruelty free product whether it's a vegan product or it is not and you may also want to know that you know certain products may be uh, vegan or cruelty free but the entire brand may not be like you know garnier has perhaps now become uh, cruelty free but earlier l'oreal they have certain products like their shampoo may be cruelty free but they still sell in china which their testing on animals is done so we really need to be conscious uh, i mean we should take an informed decision about what we are buying or what we are applying on our uh, body and uh, it has been very clearly told to you the, by anjali that skin is uh, you know the largest organ in our body and it absorbs and within seconds the product which we are applying on our body is in the blood stream so we should be very careful and uh, she also gave you examples that in toothpaste you know there are certain products which a child before 6 uh, years of age if he or she consumes then he or she has to be taken to a medical uh, hospital for uh, you know i mean treatment on uh, because he has ingested some poison so i don't want to scare you but i just want to tell you that you know uh, we can all do it at home and all of us say that we have scarcity of time even i used to say that but we have to see what what is good for my health and my children's health and my uh, mother earth's health and future generations also are depending on that and take a conscious informed decision today we will try to make uh, products very easily from uh, things which are easily available in all our homes so first product we are going to, to take is aloe vera gel and uh, i want to request all of you not to worry about the ingredients how much we are putting because gauri will be sharing eco champ uh, recap slides in the end so you can take screenshots of that or you can take uh, click pictures and you will anyway get recording so you will get everything so just focus on the process or the procedure and don't worry about the uh, ingredients and how much of how, what so first product is so i will just switch on my top view camera can you spotlight the top view camera please yes thank you so the first product is aloe vera gel and aloe vera is a plant uh, which all of us know which can be very easily cultivated uh, you know by vegetatively just put a cutting and you will have a plant 
so i have taken some leaves and i have put them in a glass why have i done that i have put them vertically in a glass because aloe vera has certain uh, resin and in that resin there is a uh, latex and that latex has anthraquinones which are harmful for your health so you should not directly put the aloe vera gel on your skin which some people do so first take the leaves wash them thoroughly and then put them vertically for 15 minutes i am trying to show there is some latex which is falling down this resin and this is yellow in color i will just show you in the spoon so this is like can you see it is yellow in color this latex yes suman ji can you show on the top camera yeah i was trying to show there also can you see now so this yellow liquid has this latex has anthraquinones which are harmful for your skin so remove this and now we will try to take out the gel from the aloe vera leaf so we need to cut this so i am cutting from both sides and then removing the thick part of the leaf so i have removed like this and then i am going to scoop out the gel like this the scooped out gel so make sure that you don't have any green part of the leaf going in the gel portion when you are removing the green part don't let it go in the gel which you are scooping out so remember to put the uh, leaves vertically for 15 20 minutes so that that latex yellow color latex is removed and then you know remove the green part of the leaf and remove the gel even if you want to apply directly on your face or on your skin remember to remove that yellow por color portion because otherwise that will be harmful for your health for your skin health so this is like a slimy kind of uh, liquid or gel which i have now and uh, you know this aloe vera plant is known as a wonder plant because it has antibacterial anti inflammatory anti uh, fungal properties and it is very good it is in fact used uh, in almost all uh, cosmetics like sunscreens face wash body wash you can also put it on cuts and burns and it's also used uh, in drug industry by far in certain pharmaceuticals so it's like uh, that so now i have removed this gel and i am going to measure so i have 30 ml of uh, gel i don't have 60 ml in the recipe i have shown 60 ml so you can reduce the quantity by half and i am going to add vitamin c and vitamin e in that so i am adding this vitamin c lim c lim c is there so one capsule i am opening and putting half of it So 
I have taken half of it. So I am taking half of the lymphy capsule and I am also opening vitamin E capsule, Evion capsule. So this is that Evion capsule. So this also half I am going to put. I mean, you don't need to really worry 2, two ml this way, that way. So I am just opening this vitamin E because vitamin E is good for your skin and it also acts as a preservative, vitamin C and vitamin E. So I have, so I am grinding. And I have also put vitamin E capsule and I am putting it in my gel. And now I will be blending in the blender. You know the smooth concoction. So now I'm, it is all going to a blender. Aloe vera gel, vitamin C and vitamin E which are good for your skin and will also help increase the shelf life. So I'm blending in the blender. And I have this. So you can put it in a bottle and put it in the fridge you can put it in the bottle in the fridge and it will i mean it can be uh, there for two months without any problem if you don't put vitamin c and vitamin e then you can only use it for one week then kept in fridge so you can you know you can see that if i'm putting on my hand i am getting this glaze on my hand can you see that So you can see the shine of glaze on my hand. So this is the first product which we have made. So I hope I have made myself clear. Yes, it will actually, uh, when you put in fridge, it will become in gel form. Right now, because I have blended, it is a bit uh, liquidy. But when I put it in the uh, fridge, it will become gel form. It is used in sunscreen, but this alone won't be, I mean, uh, good as sunscreen because uh, there are certain things which are needed to save you from ultraviolet radiation. So I won't say that this alone is enough, but uh, this is one of the products in sunscreens. So the next product which we are going to take is uh, shampoo, which all of us uh, use every day. And in fact, you know, if I remember my childhood, my mother used to make this uh, shampoo daily. I mean, whenever we had to wash our hair on weekends or in once in the midweek, uh, using uh, shikakai, rita, and amla. Rita is soap nuts and amla. So she was getting these uh, shikakai, rita, and amla and soaking them in water at night and then boiling in the daytime. And then, you know, we are doing grinding in the mixie and then giving the solution to us for using. So that has been our practice. Unfortunately, uh, once we got married and started working, you know, we had no time for all this. At least I was not worrying about this. So now, in fact, I got inspired by Anjali's talk. Anjali's uh, first class, maybe two, three years ago, when she was uh, showing that little lab in our kitchen. So I also started, you know, redoing this. So thanks to Anjali for that. So I will be now showing you, I, I'm sure all of you have seen these products, but I will still show you once uh, for shampoo what we use. We use Vita, we use these uh, soap nuts, we use soap nuts. We use Amla and of course we use Shikakai. And uh, like last class also I mentioned that, you know, Rita or soap nuts are natural products which have saponins, which will, you know, 
have soap like activity and this is shika bai but you won't get that kind of leather which you get from the shampoos uh, which you commercially use but your hair will be clean and you will uh, have no problems so i can for so this rita amla and shika kai overnight so i will show you two versions one version is uh, you know where i have soap and i am going to boil and uh, going to uh, grind and then use as liquid shampoo but this has to be done on a daily basis but i understand that you may not have that kind of time so i will also show you a dry shampoo version so these three products i have soaked overnight now i am going to grind and i am using the same uh, grinder which i used for aloe vera because aloe vera anyway is an ingredient in the shampoos so no harm done so i am removing these three products and then going to grind so i have removed the three products into the grinder and i am going to blend it so i have blended my three products and now i am going to boil it and i am going to put the same water which i used for soaping also to rinse my jar and if you like you can also put some fenugreek seeds because they are also supposed to be very good for uh, hair fall especially for you know if you uh, somebody is going bald so before uh, that if you start taking precautions and you start using fenugreek uh, then it is very good for the new hair growth so you can see some uh, kind of uh, foam or leather and if you like you can strain it once it is boiled otherwise you can use it just like this so my uh, liquid has boiled now so i am going to strain it because i don't want uh, that these uh, you know remnants of these uh, should stick in my hair so i am going to strain it and then your liquid shampoo is ready and you can uh, use this uh, what is remaining in the seed uh, next time again you know put some more water in so that you know we try to use it judiciously so i have used 5 6 pods of vita 5 6 pods of shikakai and uh, similar uh, number amla so this shampoo is good enough for uh, two to three people you can see the so you can see this shampoo liquid shampoo is ready but this uh, can't be stored 
So this uh, can be stored in fridge maybe at the most for a few days, but better to make fresh. I would just say that, you know, we all make tea by maybe 10 times in a day. So same way we can make uh, at least uh, once in a week shampoo. It's like almost like making tea. You know? The way we soak our beans every day and then use next day. Same way we can uh, do that and then boil and use. If you don't have that kind of time, the next option is that you do it. You make a dry powder form and then use whenever you like. Store it. It can be stored infinitely. So now we are going to take, uh, I am not going to blend the shikakai beans because uh, Anjali told me good that she want me that uh, the mixer, uh, you, household mixer, you can't do that. So you have to go to a grinder. So I have got some powders. So I have got uh, shikakai powder. I have got shikakai powder. I have got amla powder and I have got rita powder and I have also soaked, I, I have also ground uh, methi seeds, fenugreek seeds and here I also have neem leaves powder and curry leaves powder because neem also has antibacterial, antifungal properties and so has uh, curry leaves, you know, they have uh, antibacterial properties. So if we add in our uh, this uh, shampoo, this will be good for our hair growth. So now I am going to measure. And uh, this uh, induction top I'm just using as a plate, as a table top right now. So. So I have set the weighing balance to zero. So I am going to put 100 grams of shikakai powder. Earlier the measure had changed to ounce, so now I'm putting 100 grams of shikakai powder. I am putting 100 grams of shikakai powder, then 100 grams of heetha powder. All these measurements will be shared by, by Gauri in the end. We have recap slides. We will also recap and also you can take pictures if you like or screenshots and you anyway get recording. So don't worry about the measurement. So these powders are easily available in the market and they are 90 rupees uh, per packet. So in about 270 uh, I mean, rupees, I am only using two, uh, one third of that, 250 grams. So I'm using only 100 grams. And now I am going to use amla powder, 100 grams, same quantity. equal quantity. In the wet shampoo, I didn't make, uh, didn't put fenugreek seeds, but here I'm also going to put fenugreek seeds because they are very good for hair growth. So I have put amla also. And I have kept ground uh, fenugreek powder. So 
I have taken 100 grams. And I am going to use neem leaves powder. So whenever you take any plant leaves, please wash them thoroughly and then, you know, I have sun dried. And then ground it. So I am adding one tablespoon each of the neem leaves powder and curry leaves powder. Curry leaves is the same curry patta which we use for the garnishing of our South Indian dishes. So I have added these five ingredients, six ingredients, amla, richa, shikakai, then fenugreek, and of course, neem leaves powder and curry leaves powder. And my dry shampoo is now, I mean, I, after I mix it thoroughly, it is ready. So you can keep it in a bottle, glass um, bottle, airtight container, and you can use it as long as it doesn't finish. Depends on, you know, how much, uh, how many members in your family yet. So this is very convenient. So once you have mixed it, I am still mixing it. You can just take uh, one tablespoon of the powder and put two tablespoons of water. So I'm trying to make it in a liquid form. So now this shampoo is ready for use. So you can apply it on your hair and then, you know, after some time, wipe it and run with running water. So this, I have made a liquid version from the dry shampoo powder. So this you don't need to worry. Once you mix these ingredients, you can keep it in your uh, bottle like this. And you know, you can keep using it as long as it lasts. So uh, no problem of shelf life. One thing Sumanji, I want to share. Uh, let's not share our email IDs because we'll get the videos on our mail. Um, you'll get the recap in the end of the session. So please do not worry. You'll all get the recap of the session today. Okay, so we have done the shampoo now. So maybe we will move to uh, hair dye because you are already on hair products. So we will come to hair dye. And in Sharon, you know, we have this uh, method of uh, doing things from uh, waste, like, you know, date seeds, we make coffee. No coffee, coffee. So today we are going to make hair dye from coconut oil and also onion leaves, our own dear onion, which we use every day. So I got some coconut yesterday. So I have this coconut oil. And of course, all of us have this onion in our homes. So what we have to do is we have to take an iron wok put it on the flame and then put this uh, coconut coil and you can hold it with a tongue or chinta in Hindi and then you know burn it and put it in the wok so that other uh, coconut coil will also catch fire and then you can make uh, it's like uh, you know kajal So I made this yesterday. This is like carbon, you know. So then you can crumble it with your hands. I have done some bit, but you can do it further. And then, you know, sieve it with a strain. strainer. Strainer. Dry. I need dry. So then I am going to do so with it. So you can see this. In fact, I am reminded, you know, I was working in the Department of Biotechnology and my boss, Dr. Amita Biswas, whenever suddenly we were asked to go to parliament, so she would, you know, remove a kajal from her purse and 
try to do touching of her hair. So this uh, recipe is inspired from there. So I'm going to strain it because we don't want thick particles in our hair. This is coconut oil, something which we all throw, unless we use it as a coil paste, coil foam in our garden. So you have this thing. Now what you can do is, there are two options. Either you can take a little bit of this, like this, and then put aloe vera gel. Mix aloe vera gel. I will just show you on your on my hand so that you know that this is really you know going to give the dye effect in the hair. So why I'm using aloe vera gel is so that you know if you just want to do touching, suddenly you have to go somewhere and then you want to do this. This is like instant. So you can see my hands, they have turned so black. So same way my hair also, if I apply, that will turn black. So you can do touching, you know, and you can go to the party wherever you want to go. Of course, I have decided to gray naturally because I saw my husband was using some color and his hair became uh, gray, grayed much faster. And I then, you know, I heard Anjali's uh, talk where she talked about hair trap, you know, that how these companies, once you use this product, then you have to use another product to get rid of side effects. So, but you can see that uh, my hair, which were gray hair, have become dark. So this is the, the one option which I showed you with aloe vera gel. Another option is that you apply this uh, the coconut oil. So I have this virgin, I have virgin organic coconut oil, cold pressed. So you can use this. So I'm taking some of this and using a little bit of coconut oil. So if you are putting in oil, then you will need to shampoo later on. So then, you know, your hands will become like this or you can apply with a brush or you can get your beautician to do it for you. So you can apply on your hair and you know that this is not going to harm you because there is nothing harmful in this. If you are using in oil, then you will have to wash after a few uh, hours, maybe one or two hours. But when you are using in gel, you don't need to wash it. You can just use it and, you know, so you are done, you are taken care of, you are sorted for the party. So this is all natural and same way I have also made from the uh, onion peels. One small box. So same way, the way I made this, yeah. So I have also charred the onion peels, just the red part of the peels. And then same way you can crush it with your hands. You can put uh, gloves if you like, but since it is not harmful to the skin, so I'm just using my hands to demonstrate that it is safe for use. And then I'm going to seed it. And why we use onion peels? You must have, you know, seen in the advertisements of uh, Mama Earth and several other shampoo brands 
that onion is very good because onion has uh, sulfur and onion has onion peels have vitamin A, C, and K, and they also have an enzyme catalase, which is very good for hair growth and uh, you know uh, delaying any graying of hair. So this onion peel also I have peeled, and now you can put uh, oil or gel depending on your requirement. So just give me a minute, I will wash my hands and be back right away. Uh, thanks, Simanji, for sharing uh, these lovely uh, tips and tricks. And uh, okay, Gauri is back. Thank you. Thank you, Gauri. So the next uh, item which we want to do today is tooth powder. And that's also perhaps the last item. And also hand wash, two items. So the tooth powder or toothpaste, Everything which I'm going to use except for tripla powder is there in your kitchens. So I'm using clove powder because all of you know that clove is very good for dental health, especially for the pains and aches in gums and teeth. Then I'm using black pepper powder. Then I'm using cinnamon powder also for the nice uh, aroma and flavor. And of course, I'm using neem leaves powder, curry leaves powder, our turmeric. Please make sure that you are using uh, organic turmeric because our turmeric is really adulterated with lead and chromium, all kinds of heavy metals. And of course, Himalayan pink salt. Please don't use sea salt. Uh, Anjali told you that so, so many nanograms of uh, plastic are found in sea salt. So we resort to Himalayan pink salt. And uh, fennel powder for the nice flavor. This is Tulsi leaves powder. Tulsi, as you all know, is our sacred plant, has also several medicinal properties. This is mint leaves powder and, of course, trifla powder. So this is a product which has a lot of uh, ingredients but I am going to do the mixing now. So I have kept the measured amounts and I am going to do the mixing. So I am putting turmeric powder, fennel powder, curry leaves powder, I told you already that curry leaves have antibacterial properties and anti oxygen properties and our Himalayan pink salt, Tulsi powder, Tulsi leaves powder, cinnamon powder, neem, neem leaves powder, then clove powder, black pepper powder and we want to put the best ingredient in our mouth so all the ingredients which i'm using are organic and i'm using mint powder which i have dried my own garden mint And now I am also adding trifla powder. Trifla has, uh, as you might be knowing, three you know, products, Amla, Harad, and Beheda. In botanical terms, it is Phylanthus terminalia, two species of terminalia. So I am putting trifla powder three. And then you know you can mix it and sieve it because it should be a fine powder because some of the leaves 
may have some residues which you don't want in your mouth directly. So once you have mixed them, then sieve it. And the residues we can grind again and then you know, mix. Like we do when we make masalas at home. So for shortage of time, I will not be doing this, but you can do like this. And whatever fine powder comes in the bottom, take one spoon in a bowl and put little bit of water. And you can, you can apply on your bamboo toothbrush and then use, or you can use your own fingers. In fact, in, uh, when I was a kid, we were also using uh, neem datun. So this is tooth powder. So straining part, I am not showing, but next and last uh, product for today is uh, hand wash because there was a request from several participants to show hand wash. Letting everyone know, we will share the recap. Please do not worry about the whole process. Please enjoy the session 50, right now. 50 grams of uh, soap nuts, uh, two, three uh, rose flower petals. And in fact, I could not get China rose uh, petals today. But otherwise, you know, you just have to remove the seeds of uh, soap nuts like this. You can remove the seeds. And then, you know, you can grind all of this. So I'm just removing the seeds of soap nuts. And then I'm going to grind this. Remove the thing. So I am putting the rose petals and the soap nuts, and I am going to grind it. Putting a little bit of water. So you can see this uh, rose petals and uh, rita or soap nuts have been ground. And now I am going to put this to boil. So if you have china rose petals, you can add that also. So this has come to a boil. So I'm going to add some rose water and aloe vera gel. Three spoons of rose water and three spoons of aloe vera gel, which we just made.
and you can adjust the consistency. If you think there are some residues, you can strain it and then fill in your dispenser. So this is your hand wash. So we have done uh, all the five uh, recipes for today, dot on time. And now I request uh, Gauri to start sharing the uh, recap slides. And we will be happy to take questions if any, but uh, those of you who would like to leave the session due to other commitments are welcome to do so. But please don't forget to look at the recap slides. So these are some of the products which all of us uh, use. And you know, they say that each product has 15 to 50 or 80 chemicals. So, and on an average, they say women use about 12 products every day and uh, men use uh, six. And we are exposing ourselves to one to, uh, 180 uh, you know, chemicals and men are exposing them to about 86 uh, products every day. So that's why we need to take care of our uh, health, you know. And these are the five uh, products which we learned how to do today. We showed you aloe vera gel, hand wash, tooth powder and uh, shampoo in two versions, dry and uh, liquid. And of course, hair dye also two versions from onion peels and also from coconut oil. Next. So this shows, uh, you know, how we did this. So like I told you, don't forget to put your aloe vera leaves vertically to get rid of that uh, uh, latex, yellow color latex, which is not good for our uh, skin health and may cause allergic response in some. So put it vertically and then, you know, remove, cut from the sides, remove the green part, remove, scoop out the gel with the spoon. And then after having done that, add vitamin C and vitamin E. And then you can uh, store it in a glass bottle for about two months in refrigerator. If you don't add these vitamins, it's good to go only for a week in refrigerator, not outside. So two, two months, uh, you can store this. Next. So hand wash uh, was the last product which we did. Of course, I didn't have China rose petals. So I soaked 50 grams of soap nuts, removed the uh, seeds, then, you know, ground the soap nuts with rose petals, adding some water. Then I put it to boil. Then I added three spoons of rose water and three spoons of aloe vera gel, which we just made. So, and you can adjust the uh, consistency according to your need. And if you feel there are some residues, you can strain it before putting in your dispenser. So you can put in your uh, dispenser. Samanji, I would like uh, just interrupt for a minute, uh, for a second. Yes. I have disabled the chat box because I'm uh, seeing the request that people are not able to take the screenshot because everyone is just typing. So if you have any queries, you can just mail, mail us to us. Uh, mail ID I have shared, but still, if you don't find us, you can go on the uh, our website and uh, go in the contact list and you can uh, go in the event, uh, this thing, you'll get the email ID. So for whatever questions you have, you can just either uh, regarding recording or these things, you can uh, uh, send a request there. Thanks. Continue. So, so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Pala. Thank you. So next uh, product, uh, hand wash we have already done. Next product we did was uh, tooth powder. So we used uh, mint powder. We used tulsi leaves powder, trifla powder, which I told you has three, you know, Amla, Harad, and Beheda in uh, common Hindi language. And of course, we added Himalayan pink salt. We added soft powder or fennel powder. I also added black uh, pepper powder, neem leaves powder, turmeric powder, cloves powder, and cinnamon powder. So mix it thoroughly. If you feel that your uh, leaves are not so finely ground, you can sieve it and then you know fill it in your uh, bottle and use it till it lasts. 
this uh, recipe was inspired by uh, anjali actually thank you and the last uh, recipe is uh, maybe herbal uh, hair shampoo where we made two versions one was dry version and one was uh, the liquidy version so in the liquid version we soaked uh, soap nuts shikakai and amla six to seven pods overnight then boiled it and then ground it and then you know you can strain it and use it uh, as a liquid shampoo uh, but those of you who do not have time so you can make the dry version so we uh, added 100 grams of soap nuts 100 grams of soap nut powder 100 grams of shikakai powder 100 grams of amla powder and i also added 100 grams of fenugreek uh, seeds powder because it's very good for hair growth and for reducing uh, or stopping you know balding and of course uh, we added neem leaves and curry leaves powder so you can uh, mix all these powders and keep it in a bottle and use it till it lasts so no problems of shelf life but liquid shampoo uh, cannot be stored because we are not adding any preservative and one thing i again want to repeat you may not get that kind of leather which you get from commercial versions but believe me trust me and uh, you can also check with anjali or others who are using it i have used it since childhood i mean for maybe 20 years uh, before marriage and then again now i am using for 2 3 years so no problems your hair are uh, spick and span and clean no dirt no sticky hair so you get single strands of hair after washing with this shampoo trust me on that thank you and uh, herbal hair dye uh, which we made was uh, using onion peels and coconut oil so onion peels uh, i burnt in a iron wok and then you know you can uh, strain it that powder fine powder you mix with aloe vera gel or with coconut oil depending on you know your need so if you want to uh, go to a party and you want to use it as an instant dye then mix in a aloe vera gel if you can shampoo after putting the dye then put in coconut oil so the choice is yours same way we also made a hair dye from coconut oil so i burnt the coconut oil made uh, carbon out of it and then you know sieved it and then added in aloe vera gel or coconut oil so they, these are the two options for herbal hair dye and this is a product which you all have at home so we don't need to uh, you know buy any new products coconut oil is there aloe vera gel is there and of course we have plenty of onion peels or coconut oil so you can use it and make your own hair dye and you are sure that it's not going to do any harm to your skin or to your hair and you know when it penetrates uh, the dyes penetrate they also go into your blood stream so that way you are saving yourself from lots of uh, chemicals uh, intake and ingestion so thank you and uh, my request to all of you to try to replace uh, at least some of the products like you know tooth powder once you make you have no problem and uh, dry shampoo if you make you have no problem and even uh, i mean other products i showed you within one hour we made uh, seven eight products because i showed you two two versions of shampoo and two versions of hair dye so i mean all of us uh, spend lot of time on social media or before the idiot box or the television so if we are really concerned about our uh, health our kids health our family's health and also the you know the the chemicals which go into the water streams and go into the soil and they enter our food chain so even if you are buying uh, all of us may not be buying organic so you don't know you know where are these chemicals uh, coming from so at least try to reduce as far as possible so thank you so much Thank and you, Sanjay. Thank you, thank you, Gauri. Thank you, Gauri. Thank you, Palak. Thank you, Rachna, Akash, Rena, Dr. Nandita, uh, Rosa, and Meena, and everybody who helped us uh, convene this uh, session. 
and special thanks to Anjali for helping with the slides and also making the presentation and to Gauri because she was not even well, but still she, you know, took out time. So thank you to all of you. Okay. Thank you, Sumanji. Can we have some questions now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So Harima Sayed is asking, what about herbal or Ayurveda toothpaste? Are they really plant-based? See, the claims are there that they are plant-based, but you don't know. Like uh, Anjali was saying that how truthful these uh, people are, because when you do commercial marketing, they would like to sell their product. They are not worried about your health. So we have to make a conscious decision. That is why I also told you that uh, website or the app in the slides, Zubop, which will help you, you know, make an informed decision and a conscious decision whether what you are buying is cruelty free, whether it is vegan, whether it is organic, whether it is environment friendly and all that, you know, tested on animals or not. So we have to make these decisions. We are spending our hard earned money and we are putting it on our precious temple as we call you know body is like our temple when you realize only when you are unhealthy that how important it is to be healthy so we take our health uh, for granted so if we want to be uh, you know uh, conscious of that and we also need to like we said you know need to worry about uh, future generations the water table is going down so there is so much scarcity the chemicals are there in our salt in our blood, human blood has uh, chemicals, human breast milk has pesticides, DDT, HCH, which have been banned for years. Yeah. So what have we done? You know, it is, it is the human intervention which has brought us to this stage. So if we do not take these corrective measures now, I think it will be too late. So we have to really find time somehow. And I thought most of the products uh, take as much time as uh, making tea, which all of us uh, do 10 times in a day. So why can't we do this once and, you know? Yes. yes. Um, Madhusudan Sharma is asking, any natural alternative against vitamin C and vitamin E? I haven't tried, but you can use uh, lemon juice for vitamin C. Okay. I have not tried, so I will not be able to comment on the shelf life because uh, vitamin C and vitamin E capsule only I have put. Okay. But um, anyway, these are products which we are also eating. So what you can put in your mouth, you can at least put in your product which you are putting on your skin. Yeah. So. Uh, Bishali ji is asking, Bombay weather is too humid. Hair gets sticky and this does not clean properly. Uh, the herbal shampoo. See, you get a feeling because it doesn't lather like or foam like that. You know, it doesn't lather like that. But, uh, but, okay, okay. That's uh, camera has perhaps been switched off. So, kafi dhaag to aata hai. There is a lot of lather in this, and we have been doing it. Thoda dhaag. You can perhaps use a little more uh, rita or soap nuts. Because uh, the Bombay weather is humid and you don't get that feeling, you know, get that sticky kind of hair. So you okay. can use, uh, increase the quantity of soap nuts. Okay. Then you will get um, more later. Ahimsa Murti is asking, what's the difference between wet and dry shampoo and which is better? See, dry is uh, for people who do not have time. So you can make it once and then, you know, uh, there are five members in the family. So whenever somebody has to go and wash hair, like you have a shampoo bottle in the uh, bathroom, same way you can keep a glass bottle with uh, dry shampoo powder in the bathroom. And, you know, you put uh, one spoon of water and one spoon of shampoo powder and uh, you are sorted. So every time somebody doesn't have to make. So that way, convenience wise, I would say dry shampoo powder is good. Okay. Um, Tanvika ji is asking, can we fry or roast coconut coir in order to get the black powder? Roast? I don't know. I mean, you have to char. Hum, uh, the way we make kajal, you know, same process. In fact, I put it in a chimta and directly put it in the flame and put it in the wok so that it will set other uh, coconut coirs also to fire. And then, uh, you know, put chimney on because there was a lot of smoke in the house. So, 
you can make it once put it in the bottle the dry, after sieving and then add the aloe vera gel or aloe vera i mean or coconut oil depending on your choice we can see many people have raised their hands for questions um If you experience drying of hair after using Rita Shika Kai and Namla powder, maybe you can add a little bit of uh, uh, aloe vera gel in that because that will uh, work as a moisturizer or conditioner. Like the people use conditioner, you know, some people also boil the onion leaves in water and use that water as conditioner so that you don't have this problem of uh, drying of hair. So you can use yeah. aloe vera gel or uh, onion leaves uh, boiled in water and then strained. So that is a very good conditioner. Uh, Lita Chida ji, uh, name of the site to check about the product is Zubob. Zubob. Yeah. And there are several other uh, Leaping Bunny and there are several other uh, sites. In fact, when we send you recording, we will also send you some uh, brands which have been labeled as vegan or cruelty free. So that uh, information also will be circulated. For the people who have not received their videos, they can actually also go on uh, Sharon's YouTube channel where you can get all the recorded video there. Yes. Um, I think Sumanji's network is stuck. So all the people who are asking the ingredients and uh, the recipe again, as I've already shared, the video will be reshared with you. And in case you have missed on the video, you can actually go on to the YouTube channel and there you can find all the videos again. Um. We can get the link for the forecoming sessions. You will have to register on the Sharon's free sessions, free event sessions every time. Yes, the soap nuts were deceded, Deepa Gupta ji. All the powders and products used by Organic Show. We'll have to wait for Sumanji to join. Please allow me to just check with her again. YouTube channel name is Sharon. You can go on to the Sharon's channel and there are video options there. The thumbnail will tell you this is EcoChamp session. Okay, so until Sumanji is joining, maybe I can share the recap slides again for all of you. So this is the aloe vera gel. Maybe everybody can take a, a you know a, a screenshot from their phone cameras. And if you're viewing from your mobile, then you can actually take a screenshot. This is for the hand wash. Fifty grams of soap nut, 
8 to 10 rose petals 5 to 6 china rose petals then rose water and aloe vera gel Munmun ji, Indu ji, Minakshi ji, please write down your questions on the chat. Gauri, we can have Anjali on the board while Suman ji is... Uh, yeah, please, Anjali. Yeah. Can you so help she can us? can also help us. Yes. Anjali, you're not audible. Sumanji, you're also not audible. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, okay. My laptop actually conked, so I am on the top view camera phone. No problem. Thank you so much. So I was just recapping. Everybody was asking for the you know ingredients again. So I thought until you're coming, I can just share the recap slides. So uh, Megha Bhualka ji is asking, is the hair dye permanent? See, nothing is permanent. Only what God gives you is permanent. Otherwise, when you go for hair dye or uh, color or hina, every time you have to use it repeatedly. And I, uh, I have seen that uh, once you start using color, then if you don't use, it becomes uh, so bad. So this one is natural. It will not do you any harm. And uh, you can do it. I mean, you can repeat uh, every 10, 15 days whenever you feel that... Uh, your hair are looking gray. So you are the best judge. And since uh, it is natural product, it will not harm your uh, skin and your scalp uh, hair, uh, hair growth and, uh, you know, further uh, decoloration will not happen. So graying will not be hastened or fastened. It will be delayed, reduced. Okay. Uh, Indu Kapahiji is asking uh, that uh, they made household cleaner and how to proceed after fermenting. He's sitting with uh, after fermenting. So this is this session is not on uh, household products. We already had two sessions. So this question is not really within the purview of this particular session. So right now we are dealing with personal care products. But you can go to the YouTube and or you can send the questions by email. So we will certainly answer. Okay. Munmunji is asking for how many days can we use the hand wash once we make it? See, you make, uh, if you, you take 50 grams, I think you just fill uh, one bottle of about 200 grams. So that 200 ml. So that you will maybe use uh, within 15 days. So use, uh, if you have four bathrooms, make uh, 200 uh, grams uh, soap nuts and you make four bottles so that, you know, you will uh, finish in uh, 15 days to uh, one month. So never the problem of uh, shelf life has come. Okay. Uh, Nilina Surajji is asking which brand of Tripla was used? Tripla. I have to check. Normal uh, brands. Mm -hmm. These are not uh, organic uh, products which you get. You know, These are regular products which you get from any Pansari shop. Okay. So uh, what I used was Alba. Alba. Ayurvedic classic medicine product. Albatross Herbals India Private Limited. Okay. Um, Prabhu, Prabhjodji is asking, is China rose and hibiscus the same? If yes, then any yes. specific color yes. of it? Yes. No, 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 no color. Basically, these things are only to add the uh, nice, uh, you know, color and natural color. Like, you know, some you can use uh, beetroot, for example, for lipstick. Same way we used uh, the uh, rose petals and we got such a lovely uh, baby pink color in the hand body. And also the nice uh, flavor due to the gulab gel and also due to the uh, rose leaves. And moisturizer also because from the aloe vera gel. So it will uh, be good for your skin. So Sumanji, tell me what is the difference between cruelty free and vegan products? Okay, actually, see, uh, some of the vegan products may still be tested on animals. They may not have any ingredients which are uh, 
uh, you know uh, from animals but if they are tested on animals and like anjali's slides if you saw they test on uh, rabbits and they test on their eyes which is the most delicate organ of their body so this is so cruel and the animals uh, the kind of uh, harm it does to them we don't worry so the uh, cruelty free product will not have any animal ingredients and will also not be tested on any animals so there are other ways you know they on cell cultures they can test okay so gitanjali balachandar is asking after using rita shikakai and amla i have experienced dry hair what corrections do you advise ma'am yeah i actually took this question already so you can put some aloe vera gel uh, you know you will get moisturizer effect from that or you can uh, boil the onion peels in water and use that water as conditioner after shampooing so then you know like people use shampoo and conditioner so same way so drying of hair you will not get okay um ego kaki can you also share uh, any vegan makeup brands and quality free brands if you know yes you can uh, zoo box and you will get uh, lots of uh, these brands and you can also you know read the labels and you can also see if there is a leaping bunny um, sign so you will know that these products are like you know cruelty free and there is also uh, one uh, site logical harmony which also tells you about cruelty free brands there are several of them so you know like uh, this guys cosmetics color bar cosmetics sephora house of makeup blue heaven lots of uh, their brands are there so you can uh, make choice according to your uh, need and also you know cost wise which one is uh, suiting your budget and of course ethically also which is you know like cruelty free and free from animal products and also not tested okay for acne to the aloe vera face pack will be good i would say maybe use multani mitti or fuller's earth aloe vera gel because uh, if you have a oily skin it may not be good for acne because generally you know you get acne when your either you have a bad stomach or you have a oily skin and you have some uh, you know like microbes or some and, and so you really, really need some antibacterial or antifungal kind of of course uh, like we were telling you some of these uh, plants give you naturally these antibacterial and antifungal properties but uh, that is a specific medical condition so you have to really see what kind of skin you have how long you have had that problem is it a repeated outburst or you only had once so one has to really rule out if you have a bad stomach okay um instead of coconut oil can we use tor broad activated charcoal see what we are trying to do is uh, use products which are easily available to you and which are also not costing you money and which you are sure that there is no chemical or there is nothing else so that way you can buy a dye also from the market so we want to show you options which are healthy which are cheap economical safe okay lots of options are available okay prabjot narang is asking turmeric could not make our teeth yellow no actually see we have put so many uh, things and if you add one uh, tablespoon of turmeric it will not make it yellow okay and turmeric has its own uh, good uh, properties you know like we added mint for minty flavor we added cinnamon for good flavor we added salt so that it will give you that friction and it will help you clean your uh, teeth better and uh, clove we as added because it has uh, you know anti pain kind of uh, it has eugenol which is very good clove has so each product which we added neem we added because it has antibacterial properties curry we curry leaves we added because it has antibacterial antifungal properties so we try to give you a uh, product which will be good for your dental health and hygiene both and if you feel uh, 
you can maybe use uh, baking soda and salt and uh, some coconut oil once in a while, once in one month, uh, just to do some kind of bleaching effect. Yeah. And uh, Sapna Nichani ji is asking, is indigo a hair dye good because it because it's of its flowers? Yeah, it is supposed to be a natural product, but then you know we don't know. I mean, unless you are yourself doing it. Like henna, also we do from uh, and grind at home and then make is different. If we get powder, then also you always have this doubt. That is why I was, you know, showing you both versions of shampoo also. That when I know that I have used Amla and I have used Shikakai and Rita, but in powder you don't know. I mean, some somehow that trust is uh, now lacking. So you want to be doubly sure, then you can uh, take decisions accordingly. Okay. Shraddha Jain is asking, is there a way to make DIY sunscreen lotion? I haven't tried. Okay. Uh, okay, I think I've covered most of the questions. Let me just go through once. Okay. What were the earlier two sessions which we missed? Manali Bali, Manali Pai is asking. Earlier two sessions were on household products. In the first session, we had bioenzyme separation from citrus peels, jaggery, and water, and used that bioenzyme as floor cleaner, toilet cleaner, car cleaner, appliance cleaner, pet wash, hand wash, and so on and so forth. And the next session was again a DIY session on household products like dish wash and wash, I don't remember all the products now. So that also we use from uh, lemon peels, Rita or soap nuts. So all the, uh, and the insect repellent we used uh, from neem leaves and camphor. So like that, uh, the products which we commonly use and repeatedly use. So we were trying to reduce the uh, chemical uh, load or burden. Okay, Pushpa and Bhavna ji has asked, King, can you show lipstick making also? And somebody above also asked Kajal, I guess. Kajal, in fact, uh, see, when we were kids, uh, my I am told my father was making Kajal from almond for me. You know, he was putting the almond in a needle and yeah. burning it over a uh, oil lamp. Yeah. And then, you know, collecting that suit on a thing and then putting that but uh, when we had my niece, my brother-in-law is a doctor. So he said that this is carbon and this will damage the eyes. So then we didn't put. But otherwise, we all make kajal on Diwali. You know, we put uh, one lamp, oil lamp, and then put some uh, vessel over it. Any kalchi or small katori over it. And collect the suit and then, you know, put it in the morning in the eyes of uh, everybody that is a good omen after Diwali which is considered in our family but I don't know whether you should really put kajal or not so <laughs> there are differing opinions okay like to go by medical advice so will neem or curry leaf uh, help regrow hair and also one more question uh, you know uh, along with it is there any remedy for hair and receding See, um, I mean, some uh, we had a discussion day before yesterday with Amit and uh, Nilima and some others in another session on public speaking, where you know somebody said that it is a multi-billion dollar business if you are able to sort of have something for reducing baldness, because so many people have to resort to hair transplantation, which is an expensive uh, business, and you are never sure whether it will happen. I would say these uh, things are normally preventive. Once it has already happened, then you can't uh, undo that. But if you start uh, early and, you know, start, for example, fenugreek is supposed to be very good for hair growth and for reducing hair fall. And if you use these natural products, obviously the harmful effects of these uh, chemicals will not be there. So I am sure that graying will be less because my mother who's 85 plus, she still has better hair than me. I mean, I also have okay, reasonably good hair because I didn't use any 
artificial products because i saw my husband you know he used color and all his hair became gray within no time so at least uh, i thought let me gray naturally you know so depends if we take care of our health once i have some problem it becomes difficult to undo that but if you i mean take precautions beforehand so prevention is better than cure i would say and so, so when you did uh, and you didn't mention the lipstick lipstick people are asking again yeah we'll show you in the next session of course june we'll not be able to have a session only thing is uh, i have to really look for alternative for these bags because we may not use directly any animal uh, product but even the indirect uh, animal products uh, we have to find substitute so i am trying to do with coconut oil and uh, this uh, beetroot or some other uh, natural pigments from flowers and so still trying to standardize it will come wait for the sessions okay okay thank you so much everyone thank you suman ji thank you palak thank you rachna for uh, being a wonderful co host with us thank you team sharan for all the back end support um we have some free events which will happen in the month of may which is smoothie with sharan on 13th may hypertension can be reversed which is a free talk by nandita shah on 17th may and salad revolution on 20th and 29th may you can also join our group 21 days with sharan on facebook which you where you'll get all the valuable tips and inspirational quotes you can also connect with us on facebook and instagram and twitter and in case you have any queries or your questions are unanswered yet please mail it to offsetsharan@india.org thank you everyone wishing you good health always